Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So how hard do I work to run a multi six figure agency? Let's get straight into it. So most days are 14 hour days and I'll, I really like this split that I'm running right now. So from 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. I work on the agency. So if you don't know, I run a search engine optimization agency within the UK. Uh, we've got 23 clients. Um, it's going incredibly well. I really enjoy it. So from 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. I like doing the agency stuff. And then from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I do content. I do appreciate that is 15 hours I believe but if we're taking an hour out for you know like a 30 minute food break I always have a 30 minute food break you know during the during my lunch I just put on YouTube and if you're wondering what I watch I watch a lot of stupid shit <laughs> I watch like UFC uh, beta squad at my growing age can you believe it um but yeah anything that just numbers my mind for 30 minutes and I get straight back to work and if you're wondering what I eat <laughs> I just make a sandwich right I put four slices of ham uh some cheese uh, a chicken breast like an actual chicken steak is a massive massive sandwich get that down me maybe have a few packets of crisps i know it's really bad on it at the moment i'm just having two packets of crisp uh, for my lunch very bad a little bit of chocolate and i'm back on my way as i say i'm no health freak i used to go to the gym a lot but as you can see no gains are left anymore uh, just from working too much and not getting in the gym but i just basically i'll try and go through as much work as possible um from you know 5 a.m to 6 p.m by about 4 p.m. I'd say my brain's pretty knackered, but as I say, I just try and sieve through as much work as possible. I try and leave my phone, you know, on the other side of the apartment. Uh, I'll show you everything I do with regards to my phone settings, how I orient my life, just to make sure that I'm doing as much work as possible. You always want to make it as easy as possible to work as hard as possible. So I'll talk about that. And then throughout my day, the other things to mention is like I shower midday, so that's when when I say like uh, I take an hour out of you know the 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. split, uh, and then 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Whilst that sounds like a 15 hour day for an hour you know i'm having my lunch and you know having a 30 minute shower and then before bed i typically wrap everything up about 8 p.m i'll spend about half an hour in bed and i'll go to sleep and i'm normally asleep by you know 8 45 which is pretty crazy i've heard um you know I've, i was raised like this <laughs> my mom always used to send me to bed at like 9 9 30 max so uh, you know i was raised like this uh but then i learned you know at a younger age that other people were staying awake till 10 11 i couldn't believe it <laughs> but yeah i can easily fall asleep at 8 30 but then i'm back up you know at about four and i'm straight back to work um so I want to touch on this. So when I attach myself to the outcome, I just can't get any work out of me. And I've been doing, I've been thinking about this a lot recently and I always notice it. Whenever I start thinking about money goals, um, my motivation goes like that. I can never get the best out of me. I can never work as hard as I could possibly can uh, because money's not the motivation anymore. And I say that like, you know, I'm some made entrepreneur because I'm really not. I'm no seven figure, eight figure, nine figure entrepreneur, multi-six, but I'm a really basic guy like in terms of, you know, I like working, I'm not into property, I'm not into cars, I'm not into fashion, I'm not into watches. Uh, the only thing I spend money on is just go, going out for food with friends and, you know, a few beers. Um, so to me, this is all the money in the world. Uh, it's a really nice income at the moment, you know, having, you know, 23 clients. But as we expand the agency, the margins are going to go down. But I'm, I'm confident, you know, as we expand the agency, you know, the, the amount of money I can take out is only going to grow. Um, I don't take out too much at the moment, if you're wondering. I just reinvest it right into scaling especially I like having a lot of money in the business bank account because it is my worries of you know the business ever going away I never want to go back to a nine to five it'd be my worst fear um, so I don't really take out too much money out of the business bank account um, plus it's tax efficient right you never want to take out loads and then have to pay a lot of dividend tax um, so I still pay myself minimum wage and then uh, I take out dividends as and when I need it that works best for me but in terms of profit for the agency uh, with multi six which is you know pretty cool uh, I never thought I could do this and I know it sounds like very small I know um, a lot of people on YouTube are seven eight nine or like yeah nine figure entrepreneur I was gonna say ten nobody on YouTube is a ten figure entrepreneur uh, but I'm multi six um, but yeah it feels cool right I'm still proud of myself but money's not the motivation anymore like if I do an extra few thousand uh, per month added to the agency profit it doesn't really make the world a difference uh, to my lifestyle as I say I'm pretty basic so like money's not the motivation at all um, and like out, I'm just trying to detach myself from outcomes really like even if I was to become the best business owner in the world 20 years down the line like who's going to remember like who remembers who was the number one rap artist you know 40 years ago I was going to say 20 years ago that'd be too easy that'd be Eminem right 2004 I'm a big hip-hop fan um, <laughs> that'd be yeah that'd be Eminem or it'd be 50 Cent right get rich or die trying I think um but yeah, you get my point, right? Who was the best, you know, business owner, you know, in the world twenty years down, uh, twenty years ago? Like, who knows? Uh, right now, we've got obviously Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, but who knows? Twenty years um, ago, and like, like 
I don't know, who had the most money 50 years ago? I don't know, I have no clue. So outcomes are really irrelevant. And you know, when you die, no one's going to remember your name really, especially past, you know, 50, 100 years. So this whole legacy thing is kind of a myth. So if it's not about the outcome, because, you know, it's never going to matter permanently, and it's not about the money, I, as I say, um, at the moment, I said this in the last video, but the way I'm getting the most work out of myself is by just focusing on my internal metrics, like how hard I worked. This really gets a lot out of me in terms of output. How hard have I worked? Like how well can I run the agency? How well can I do my content production? Um, and I really, like this is taken from both Naval, so two of my favorite uh, uh, influence, I wouldn't say they're influencers, like business gurus, um, and I feel like Gurus is doing them a disservice. But two of my favourite people that post content, let's put it that way. Naval and Alex Ormosi, I love both of them. I watch all of their content. And Alex has something on like hard work is a goal and Naval has that too. But just working as hard as he can, that's the goal. And he mentioned that he mentions that he he has a chorus that he tells himself and he just keeps telling himself hard work is a goal because there's nothing else and there really isn't. Like even if you earn X amount of money, it's not gonna really change your morale, or change your change your life. Maybe you could get a nicer car, maybe you could get a nicer apartment, but but then you know 10 days down the line you're back to feeling exactly you're back to baseline right so hard work is the goal and naval no inky johnson inky johnson's a motivational speaker and he talks about this concept of you know emptying the bucket and i'm really into this like empty the bucket go to bed exhausted every day on the on the macro you know live your life and just know that you know you can't you couldn't squeeze one more thing out of it uh one more drip out of it and on the micro just go to bed exhausted every day just knowing you worked your hardest you, you've sieved through work you've eliminated all your distractions you put your phone on the other side of the apartment and you've done as much work as you possibly can um so i really like this concept and this is how i get the best out of myself it not, might not work for you but if i judge myself on an internal metric then i know i'm going to get the best out of myself and I tell you what, nothing puts me in a better mood than just choosing to work hard in the present moment. So like right now, like if I was working, I'd be like, you know, hard work is a goal. Like I'm trying to work as hard as possible. And then like hours go by because uh, you find yourself in like a flow state because hard work is a goal and you're working hard and you're achieving your goals. So it's like a, it's like a loop, right? And you start feeling better and better and better. And then hours go by and I take a break and I'm feeling extremely proud of myself just because of how hard I worked. And that's really like, nothing puts me in a better mood than that 100%. And another thing that also gets me a bit motivated is Andy Frisella's 100 to 0. Um, so he has this concept, right, of instead of winning 1-0, 2-0, 3-0 against, you know, other people, for example, you could work a little bit harder than other people and that'd be like a 3-0 victory, say. Uh, he has this concept of 100 to 0. So, you know, keep going until, you know, you're stamping on the next, you know exactly how much harder you work than everybody else. And as I say, I'll try and frame it in internal uh, as like intrinsic motivation uh, by making sure you know I'm judging myself on my own metrics but for some reason like this 100 to 0 concept really gets me going uh, thinking of like no fuck that I don't want to just win a little bit against you know how hard other people work I don't want to judge myself on you know the standards of other people because to work harder than them it's really easy to put a few more hours in fuck that we're going to do 100 to 0 we're going to run the score line up you know we're really going to put the hours in and that's again another way that I, ch that I find to get the best out of myself and I've also found that anxiety goes away uh, if I'm no longer measuring on the measuring stick of other people. So when I was judging myself on the revenue I made, uh, obviously I had a lot of anxiety, especially in the early agency days because I didn't want to fail at having the agency and I wanted to show people that you know Morgan can make a success of it. So I was very much like anxiety driven. Um, I was just working as hard as I can to prove people wrong. And like now with my intrinsic motivation you know judging myself on how hard I worked and how well I can run the agency and how well I can do stuff and how much work I can do in a day um, I don't feel the need to flaunt money at all uh, as long as I'm putting in the money as long as I'm putting in the work I am incredibly happy and I mean that uh, all my best days are the days like where I've worked the hardest and I go to bed knowing like I've tried my hardest and even those some of those days I make like barely any money like a few days ago I had a shit day like everything went wrong for the agency uh, but I knew like I couldn't have given it anymore I woke up early I sat there and I was like you know it takes mental energy to you know not be on YouTube not be on SoundCloud uh, not be on Spotify not be on YouTube uh, I already said YouTube um, you know you get my point not be on social media um it takes mental energy to stop yourself doing that. And it takes even more mental energy to really put your mind to the craft. Like if you're doing a task such as admin, you really got to put your mind to it to make sure you're doing a good job, to make sure that you're doing everything right, to make sure you're doing it at a fast rate, an efficient rate. Instead of just sitting there, just trying to, you know, type, you really got, and like, it's only mental energy. You can force yourself to do that. Just like work harder, you know, try and put your brain into it. Um, 
but yeah, as I say, as long as I'm putting in the work, I'm incredibly happy. And then like, if I do make money and I have like a good uh, financial day or financial week, then I'm not like, cool. But I'm really still proud of myself because of like how hard I worked. Then also, once you start to take this mindset up, like when you do recharge, because obviously there is going to be a point where you know you can't work anymore, especially if you're working like seven. I always find like six day my sixth day of working you know 14 hours days or my seventh day i'm like i can't give any more like, i'm trying to put my brain into it <laughs> like this is me trying to put my brain into it uh, i'm trying to put my brain into it but like nothing's happening and then i need to recharge so when i do recharge and by the way if you're wondering like the way i like recharging is just going for a drink with friends or playing a sport like play tennis play football um and not at a competitive level just like kick around uh, i really enjoy that as I say, it just takes my mind off the business. Uh, but yeah, when I do go to recharge, like I thoroughly enjoy it because I know I deserved it. And then I go back to work feeling refreshed and then it's back to how hard can I work. So as I say, like recharge in your own way. Don't feel compelled to, you know, live 24 hours the way, you know, some people tell you to where it's like lift weights, never take a break. Like if you need to recharge, then recharge because it's all about productivity in the business world. And if you can increase your productivity across a week by taking a few breaks, because you know that when you come back, you're going to be more refreshed and you'll be able to get through work at a faster rate, then obviously it makes sense to recharge and just find your way of recharging. Like, by all means, I like drinking. Um, I don't like binge drink, but like, if like, I don't know, my friends are out once a week, I'll definitely go down and see them. Uh, especially if I know I've worked hard over the last six and a half days and then I I can take the, I can take a... A little break and I really enjoy that as I say and then coincidentally when you take this mindset of like how hard can I work and as I say this is taken from both Navarra and Hormozy uh, but when you take up this mindset of like how hard I can work and just trying to push your in yourself to work as hard as you can to empty the bucket if you will um, money tends to go up like crazy and that's just because of how hard you're working right the amount you're getting done in a day um, and like here's another thing you want to make sure it's easy to work hard so what do I mean by that orient your environment so I always talk about this but I like facing the walls so I'll face you know a corner of my uh, of this room of the apartment and i the, the two biggest things you can do by far number one is app block so it's an app on ios so if you have an iphone and it's called app block and basically you can set it so that you know you can't access instagram tiktok whatsapp youtube um, no matter how hard you try like you can try and uninstall the apps you can't do that um you there's no way to get around it there's no pin no nothing so i really like that and i set that from you know 5 a.m to 5 p.m so i'm not allowed i just never go on my phone and that's an, that's an example of orienting my environment so that I can work as hard as possible because uh, I can't reach for my phone and I guess is it your environment is orienting your phone whatever <laughs> um, but yeah I really like doing that and it makes me productive and then when I do check my phone at 5 p.m I can just you know catch up on all messages and then I'll put it back down and then I get back to content so that works really well for me and the second being a sunrise alarm so you know I set this uh, to go off at 5 30 but it starts making my light room lighter at 4 a.m and then if I wake up you know 4 4 30 4 45 5 5 30 these are like the general times I wake up my room's already lit and I can just get out of bed where I've, I've found in the past like if I don't have the sunrise alarm and the room's really dark I find it really hard to get up uh, out of bed if it's dark and I think that's just like um, a psychological thing I don't know what's going on there um, and I wanted to end on two points so if I had to give advice to someone younger than me um, basically somebody DM me on TikTok I get a lot of DMs on TikTok but this person was incredibly young and um, if I had any advice it got me thinking um, I actually didn't reply so I should reply um, but it got me thinking like what would the advice be and I'd say learn how to work hard because no matter the discipline you'll crush it because you'll start to realise that everything whether it's be whether it be building a business whether it be uh, making the football team whether it be you know making music everything requires requires just work I think it's just tons and tons of work and you start to realize everyone at the top of the, your, the field that you're thinking about uh, whether it be music whether it be the business whether it be sports they're just putting in a ton of work so if you can learn how to work hard and learn how to you know put mental energy into the things you're doing and like it doesn't take physical energy this is so weird about it it just takes mental like some like you just need to catch yourself when you start um, distracting yourself and start being like no my goal is to work as hard as I can today and get back to work and start pushing yourself to get back to work uh, and f like almost forcing yourself just to stare at your screen or stare at whatever you're doing the sport or the music and just forcing yourself to make incremental improvements and you know the more work you can put in over the course of the week the faster you're going to scale in terms of uh, your skill set and the results you get if you're results orientated 
And also, this is my last point, uh, if you're struggling with making sacrifices required to build a business, it's a lot of sacrifices. You know, you've got to sacrifice family to an extent, friends to an extent. Uh, you know, I even sacrificed the gym, uh, sports I liked, you know, <laughs> seeing in WhatsApp chats, chats, I really used to enjoy that. So I have loads of group chats with my friends. I used to just talk shit all day. Um, I, like Even the smallest of sacrifice, you know, social media, uh, Netflix, YouTube, uh, bigger sacrifices, going out as I said uh, if you're struggling with making those sacrifices realize like the only person beating you up is you like they don't feel compelled to build a business like it is incredibly tough and as I say the only person beating you up is you it's more than fine to say I don't want to sacrifice these things but you know and I'm going to make the trade-off by having an agency that grow having a business that grows a lot slower because I don't want to sacrifice these things that's more than fine like who's to say you should be sacrificing everything you're only thinking that you should be sacrificing everything because you watch you know youtube con- uh, content which tells you know you've got to hustle harder you've got to win but who's like the only person beating you up is you if you have a decently sized business and you don't have to sacrifice your family and your friends albeit your business grows a little bit slower but you get to spend time with you know your family and your friends um who's to say that's the wrong approach so really think about the whether you want to accelerate your success through making those sacrifices or whether you're feeling forced to by you know watching too much content you know and nothing means anything in the grand scheme of things like (laughs) don't (laughs) like the the pursuit of trying to be like the best at whatever really means nothing so just find a balance that works for you and then do that like for example how many times have you mentioned James Brown today? <laughs> One of my mum's favourite artists. Uh, if you know about James Brown, then cool. Uh, but like, how many times have you thought about him today? Not many. <laughs> In fact, I can guarantee you haven't thought about him once. So, uh, and he's an all-time great at what he does, right? So, you know, it's all irrelevant at the end of the day. Uh, even if you do become the best, like that's going to die off. Like who says the best for more than, you know, two, three years? Not many people. So, you know, find a balance that works with you and live, and live your life. But uh, I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you tomorrow.